some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Bay County, Florida, where a sovereign citizen attempts to, well, try his argument with the judge, but... Well, the argument just falls flat on his face, and, uh, well, the judge pretty much tells him to do better next time. I mean, the judge just flat out calls him out on his BS. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Latavius Morris. I'll come to the jail and talk to you. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you doing this morning? I'm well. How are you? Fine. Morris had previously, there was one case that I was already representing him on. I don't know that we ever got one on this most recent charge. Okay. Well, let me see. Mr. Morris, I know Mr. Hill was representing you in the 23174 case. You're here for an arraignment on the 24 CF49 case. Uh, has, has your financial circumstances changed? No, sir. All right, I'm going to point to Officer Henry Mark Sims to represent you on the 24 case. I go on um, state this to the own um, court. You raise your right hand and. Yes. Now that Mr. Hill is rep representing you, um, you probably want to talk to Mr. Hill before you say anything. We're recording this proceeding, so anything you say may be used against you. But you, I'm listening to whatever you want me to consider. No, no, wait. Wait a minute, Soft Heart. Uh, you're disappointing me and my audience here. I mean, we expect Soft Hearts to go pro se. And if you don't do that, you're, well, uh, what's the point of, uh, well, everything in this action? But uh, maybe you'll surprise us. Then again, maybe not. So let's carry on. I'm not. I'm not real sure what Mr. Morris is trying to claim in that, that oh. writing right there. Said he's he's not a not a citizen and something something about a secured. My name is Alize Morris, a secured party credit under the UCC one. Yeah, he's going to talk about UCC one, which is more or less a financial credit statement kind of thing. Yeah, which really has nothing to do with the case that he's in right now. So, uh, yeah, sovereign citizens just really, really suck at this kind of thing. They think that everything's about uniform commercial codes, that there's no such thing as criminal or civil law. Well, civil law outside of anything except for a contract. I mean, it's all about contracts with these idiots. About in Florida. American national being held in custody in Gulf County, which is not a 14th Amendment citizen of the United States. Not a record. So on um, documentation, which is official records. So I'm um, stated. I'm the agent of the said principal. Who wrote that for you? I did. Why do you need to read it if you know what you're talking about? This memory. Okay. Tell me what the 14th Amendment says. Ooh, ooh, I know this one, Softar. Let me uh Go ahead and fill you in on what this actually is. Basically, every person born or naturalized in the United States is a U.S. citizen. It enforces the fact that uh, we do have due process. It goes into the issue of uh, not being able to hold office after uh, being charged with insurrection against the United States, which is a uh, post-Civil War issue that they ended up having to deal with. It also goes into the explanation of the validity of the debt concerning uh, rebellion or insurrection, which is another civil war issue, about not paying insurrectionists, about uh, incurring debt uh, 
while fighting the insurrection, everything like that, you know. I mean, 14th Amendment was created right after the Civil War and all that. But I'm curious to hear what the Sovtard has to say about what the 14th Amendment says in his world. That you were um, considered a slave under the 14th Amendment. That who's considered a slave? I'm not a slave. No, the um, incarcerated person. This, if you commit a crime. Yeah, that sounds like the typical Sovtard uh, misinterpretation of the 14th Amendment. Right there. Uh, I can see where it might be misinterpreted uh, at certain points in the uh, amendment, but it doesn't outright go and say anything like that, uh, uh, brain dead simpleton. Okay. Doesn't say if you commit a crime. Or, um, yeah. That's not what it reads. I got to, um, I ain't, the 14th Amendment really wasn't in the, um, the uh, book. What that, book? The book that we have in the back. What book do you have in the back? Um, it's a law book. What law book is it? Um, Florida Statute Book. Yes. So the 14th Amendment is in the Florida Statutes? That's because it's, it's an amendment to the U.S. It's, Constitution. Mm -hmm. So you don't know what the 14th Amendment reads. Yeah, that much is clear, uh. It's clear that uh, this guy is just uh, some uh, simple-minded buffoon who's parroting uh, whatever uh, the other Sovtard's gurus spoon-feed him. I mean, dude, you really need to grow a brain, think for yourself, and actually do your own research, then take what everybody else says for uh, absolute truth, because that's going to get you in trouble a lot. Fourteenth Amendment to be not off on the top, not off. Okay. That's what why I written. What else do you want me to consider? That I'm a secure part of credit on the UCC one. Tell me what the UCC one reads. I got. I wish I had my documentation on in front of me to present it all the way. I wish I had someone here that was supposed to be here, so I can have it. I asked you who wrote that for you. You said you. I, did. I wrote it. Yes. So do you know what you're talking about? Yes, sir. All right, so tell me what the UCC-1 reads. It's the commu um, commercial, Uniform Commercial Code filed with the Secretary of State or within the entities under the contract with the, CETEC, the Secretary of the State to maintain uniform commercial code records and database of judgment liens maintained by the Secretary of State. Now tell me what UCC-1 reads. Um, it's two, it's a statement. And it's a financial. Uh, you don't know what the UCC one reads, do you? Not on top. You're not prepared. This, you're not prepared this morning with your sovereign citizen argument. You need some. You need some additional time to prepare. Yes, sir. I'll give you some additional time to prepare your sovereign citizen argument. When do you want to come back? I would ask that um, if he's got two cases. I know one we've got already got the discovery on that. I need to go meet with him in the jail and go over. Um, yeah, he definitely needs time to prepare his sovereign citizen argument because he has no freaking clue what he's talking about. He needs to go find somebody who, well, has actually studied law and uh, is willing to uh, let him argue the case. But unfortunately, he's got somebody that's standing right next to him, but he's not going to let him argue the case case he's just going to take over and uh go pro se and well screw up his whole case because yeah this is just a bunch of garbage right here he's spewing out oh my goodness dude good luck with that being at the jail i mean i can find time between now and may 9th to go to the jail and, and take care of that um all right mr morrison you come back usually when sovereign citizens come in the courtroom at least they can recite from memory um, a lot of the stuff they travel under. So next time you want to come with your sovereign citizen argument, be prepared, okay? I'll listen to you, but be prepared. Yes. But you're not doing justice to your fellow um, traveling nationals who con consider themselves sovereign citizens if you're not prepared to even articulate what the argument is, all right? Yes, sir. All um, right, we'll see you May 9th at 1.30. Today. Today. Be prepared next time, all right? Yes, sir. It should have a constitution in the back so you can read the 14th Amendment and be able to tell me what it reads. And what is it right here? What is what is state? We're going to May 9th at 1 30. Machine into a contract. That's not, that's not a contract. That's giving you notice that you're yes, going to come back. Mm -hmm. You're fine.
Yeah, I'm sure his case went real well, real smoothly. Uh, yeah, okay. About as well as a snowball's chance in hell at this point. I mean, come on now, dude. You couldn't articulate anything properly. I've seen better soft heart arguments who could uh, better articulate their bullshit, but it, they still proved it was a bunch of freaking bullshit to begin with. I mean, good grief, dude. Try harder ne next time. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen read to anything. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not listening. Gosh. I'm not. No, sexual oriented protection. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. You suck. They think they know it all. What's the Third Amendment, punk? Tell me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll f***ing leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me. What's the Third Amendment? Most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave. Doesn't mean I have to go. <clears throat> that sort of thing. Well, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead, uh, per the, um, the, uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so with that said, um, I've got too many entities I know. You gave me a warning to get off the property. I got off the property. I need your name dead, No, sir. You're either going to provide or you're going to jail. I'm going to remain silent, sir. Okay. Do you want my name and date of birth? Put your hands up now. He chose poorly. Morning, Deputy Regan, St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island the speed limit's 25. You're going 36. Okay. That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. So that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the supposed speed limit. Oh, no, I didn't tell it, you that. Yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, but I said... That's a 25. 35. No, ma'am. It's... it. The whole thing's 25. Okay. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. How are you? Okay, I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave, okay? Still, Why? I've been calling after you. You know you're not to be on campus. No. You put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys... You are now under arrest. You guys are arresting me for nothing. No. You know, you've been arrested for this before. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Because you don't want wa someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.